I know it can be a mess and I'll make you too stressed out You make me feel tired when I like to lay my head down You like it soft when I'm always so loud Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to do a cut crease This is definitely beginner friendly and also for everyone with hooded eyes so I thought it was fun to wear some color contacts today because I just got them. So I'm putting in the Dizio Creamy Beige Contacts. Then I'm starting out with my Soft Ochre Paint Pot as always. And I'm using this as a primer. So for today I'm taking the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette um, I use this palette because I think it's most universal and I think most people have shades that look alike but I'm first starting out with a white eyeshadow if you have a darker skin tone you can definitely use a darker color but I'm just applying this underneath the brows and whatever is left on the brush I'm setting the primer with now I'm taking my Morphe M518 and I'm taking the shade Sust and I'm using this as my transition shade in the crease. So I'm building up this shade into the crease and I really wanted to show you guys everything I do step by step. So I'm just building up this shade to the intensity I like. Then I'm taking the Morphe M506 and I'm taking the shade He Devil and I'm going to apply this inside my crease and as you can see I have slight hooded eyes so I'm applying this a little bit higher than my natural crease is so here you can see where my natural crease is but if I tilt my head back and feel a little bit I feel that the bone is way up so I'm not applying it to my natural crease but above that and this will make sure that I have enough lit space to um, cut the crease with I'm also winging this shade a little bit out and here I'm showing you that you don't need to hold your brush at the very beginning but at the very end of the uh, brush so that you don't apply too much pressure I'm taking these shades and Fuego and Cayenne and those two shades I'm gonna apply more towards my own crease line just to deepen up that shade I already did so again I'm just blending it in I sped this up a little bit so you can really see what I'm doing and now I'm taking the previous brush um, and I'm just blending it out with no extra product and I felt like I lost a little bit of intensity so I'm going back with and fuego now on a pencil brush I'm taking the shade he devil and I'm going to apply this to the lower lash line I'm taking my Mac pro longwear concealer and the Sigma e 62 cut crease brush I applied it to the lid I'm sorry the footage was gone but I applied it to the lid up until the black line then I looked up and it transferred to my actual part I want to cut the crease with and that is the blue line you can see so this is the easiest way to do a cut crease the only thing you have to do is just apply it to your lid look up and then fill in the blank so you can make a half cut crease but because I already done that a couple of times on my channel I decided to do a full cut crease so I'm just following my natural crease line and then winging it out I'm just blending in that concealer and this is the most important step just take a teeny teeny tiny brush and I'm taking the shade and fuego and I'm just redefining that cut I just make made and this is definitely a game changer when you're making a cut crease so if you don't do this step definitely try it out and i bet you will like it taking my pencil brush i'm just blending it out a little bit so that it's not a harsh line now taking my mac 242 and i'm going in with the shade lumbre 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 I'm not quite sure um, but I applied a little bit of fix plus to my brush so I applied this wet and therefore I can really apply it smoothly on the cut part so that everything will be as sharp as possible now I'm taking the shade scorched and I'm going to apply this to more the outer part of the eye on camera it doesn't look like it's a different color but it is and then I'm taking the shade Ember and I'm going to apply this to the most outer part and winging that out. For the inner corners I'm taking the shade Cleo from my own brand Meraki Cosmetics. And I'm just going to apply this to the inner part of the lid and also inner corners later on. 
Now taking the waterproof cream color by Anastasia, this is the shade Jet and I'm going to apply a winged liner. I actually never do this because I have hooded eyes and I don't, my cat, oh my god, and I um, don't really like how it looks on, oh my god, my cat. I don't like how it looks on my eyes, but it actually turned out pretty nice today. So if you guys want to see how I do that on hooded eyes, definitely let me know. Now I'm taking the Flutter Lashes in the style Shayla and I'm going to apply them. And here is a little bit more of Cleo. And that is actually the finished look. So this is my easiest way to apply a cut crease. This is definitely beginner friendly. If you're going to try it out, definitely tag me on social media. I would love to see you guys' looks. And hope you guys learned something and enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you next time on my channel. Don't forget to like this video and thumbs up. And I love you guys.